Well, this is it. This is home for the next two days here on the campsite with Matt, Gary, Luke, Josh. We're all sharing a little campsite here. Two day fishing tournament on Chickamauga Lake. So we uh, wanted to stay kind of close and you don't want to you know, spend too much money. So this is going to be it. Tomorrow morning starts at six in the morning is uh, lines in. So I'll try to get to my ramp before six. Two days of fishing, there's over 100 anglers, biggest amount of people I've ever fished against or a tournament I've fished in. It's the Bass Nation tournament. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna try to show you everything that's going on and kind of keep you filled in, show you the fishing, show you little things extra. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a one part, two part video. This is the first night, about to go get some food, kind of chill out, be ready to go. Crack it dawn, before dawn. I got all my rod and reels loaded up, everything. Fishing's gonna be on. Well, this is it. Morning of the tournament. Got a couple minutes before lines are in. And it's actually gonna be dark till for about at least 45 minutes. Pulled up to the spot. It's the same place I won my tournament um, two months ago. There's one kayaker right over there going up the same little creek channel. It's a small creek. I guess we're gonna have to share it today because I'm going up in there too. We're gonna start here and we might jump to another spot later on, but we get everything unloaded and get ready. By the time I get ready, it'll be time to start fishing. one but i think it's gonna be too short and today we do need every catch yeah 10 and a half inches it's the five biggest fish today so two days in a row five biggest fish today five biggest fish tomorrow Exactly where I thought he was gonna be, but we got him. Oh, he swallowed that thing. Every fish counts, especially today. It's a two day tournament, getting a limit on your first day is very important. You know, I'm a whole pro at this now. It's my uh, third two day tournament. Oh, wow, he's a 16 incher. He's long, he's Exactly what we need. Exactly what we need today. Okay, this is what we came for. That's why we came back in this creek. Get some fish. 16 inch or not a bad way to start. If I um, if I finish with five 16 inch fish, that'd be a great good day. So my goal starting out always is catch a limit. That means 12 inch fish. Five of those at least. My single is my smallest fish to be 15 inches today. If I want to compete, there's some big name guys that catch big fish. I gotta, I kind of gotta get some good fish. And you know what, 16 inches, you know that is a great one. I definitely need that. Yeah, I got one. I think that might be a keeper. He's kind of small. I threw it way back up under this tree, trying to get it, to make some cash where people aren't casting because people have already fished it here. Well, I definitely got some competition back in here. There's at least three people fishing this creek channel, and this is. This is a little place I like to fish, but a lot of people like fishing here because there's fish in here. 
So that's keeper number two, a 12 and a half. Hopefully we can upgrade that, but that's two down, three more to go. All right, we're gonna go uh, kind of move out of that creek channel. There's nobody fishing that rock wall over there. I'm gonna go over and fish it. I know some boats have already gone down it. And then we're probably gonna hit like one more little slough. And if we can do that within a couple hours, we might jump to another spot. Or if we don't catch any fish, we're gonna drive to another spot a little bit later. getting a little desperate we needed that fish we got to keep that going 16 and a half keeper number three I may not have to leave. I may be able to get my limit in here. This may be a keeper. He's small. Oh, that flopping around. He's only 11 and a half inches. Took me three minutes to get him on the board. All right, before we go up that creek, we're gonna go in this little bitty creek. Hopefully ain't nobody in here. There he is. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creeks are coming through for me. Board out. My identifier out. Get my phone ready. Oh, he's, oh man, he's so close to 16. Can I make him? I think I can make him 16 if he stays still. First off, I got the fish where I wanted to get them, back in the creeks, way. And second off, this is my third 16 inch. I got three 16 inchers. Uh, right, this is 16 even. I think the other one was a 16, and I think a 16 and a half. All right, it's gonna be a better feeling when I get my fifth keeper. So that's keeper number four. I get that fifth one out of the way, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be happy. Oh, that is a fish. That is a fish. He was wrapped around a log. Yeah. I think he's going to be my fifth uh, keeper. Nope. He was just under 12 and he jumped off anyways, but he was just about there. So. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, that's the fish we needed. Good. Oh, yes. Flipping it back up under that shade. 
The old yum dinger. There's a kayaker right around the corner right there. I don't know if you saw me or not. I don't think it matters, but sometimes, I don't know, when you're fishing, you just want to keep everything kind of hush hush till the end. Just so you know, I don't know. Not that it's like going to give away a ton. Yeah, we needed that. He's a big body on him. Wish he was a little bit longer. He's actually not that long of a fish, but it's a, it was a really nice catch and he was fighting like mad. So that's, th that's another 16 and a half, except he's a lot thicker. He's a good, healthy bass. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Boom. It was paid off to stay in this area. I haven't, I kind of wanted to fish all these little areas, little, uh, I, knew I knew there was usually fish in here and the quality of fish has been really good. I have four fish over 16 and then I got that, uh, what is it, like a, a 12 and a half. Let's get it uploaded, make sure everything goes through. Oh! <laughs> I think it's gonna be an upgrade. It's not huge, but good. Another good fish. The other kayaker was just fishing through here. I was trying to stop. I should even fish it. But he wasn't throwing a bubblegum yellow squirrel young dinger. I'm pretty sure. Hey! I gonna get rid of that 12 inch. I think. Yeah. Well, there's a couple more inches. Well, inch and a half. 14, I think I said 14. Let's see what it says. Yep, 14 inch. That's our smallest one. Dude, I, my goal was to have the smallest one a 15 inch. And um, we we may have that happen today. 14 is pretty close. That's I'm super happy. Hopefully we catch a few more fish, but that's a, that's a good in there. I'm gonna hold on to that one and I'll upload it in a little bit. See if we can. See if we can beat it before I upload it. We're going off the beaten path. Eat it, eat it. Yep. Dude, that was awesome. I watched this guy. He was chasing Shad. I threw the lure out there, flicked it a couple times, he ate it. Got me in the grass. There's several bass hanging out back here. Oh my. I saw two really good ones at the same time. Saw this one chasing the shad. I saw he was interested in him. Threw out there, flicked my twisted twi or twitched my lure like three times, and he went over there and just ate it. In super clear water, it's like four foot deep. Watched the whole. Th well, I asked for a 15 inch or better. I think we got better. Maybe the biggest fish of the day. Not a bad fish. It may be another 16 inch, or we may get all 16 inch. <laughs> he's not, he's right at it. No way, okay, he's a 17, oh, 17 and a quarter. Yeah, big fish of the day. 17 and a quarter, sight fishing it. See all this grass and these little mats? This area here is all open. What a cool, nice catch right there. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. We might be able to get another one in here. I may just stand and watch for a while when they come through these open areas chasing bait fish. Oh, wow. That worked pretty good. Just put that lure on. Just put that lure on. I was gonna cover this grass with a um, little fluke. And uh, first cast, got a fish. Dude, these are all the same size. We're almost gonna get to the point 
I don't know if it's gonna be an upgrade. Another, it's a 16 and a half. Is that like the third 16 and a half we've caught today? Just everything's been really good quality. There's two kayaks over there. They're worrying me. They're sitting right there, but I didn't see anybody fishing over here. I may have a spot for tomorrow where some good fish can be. Um, I guess I have to come back here. I want to go to another spot because I think there's more fish. I can get a limit, but the quality of fish here is too good. I now have 80, it was over 82 inches sitting in fourth place still because I, I moved back up and um, my smallest fish is 16 inches. The next one, I, mean, I got three 16 and a halfs. Like, I don't even know if I want to keep on fishing. I, like if I keep catching 16s, I may, I'll fish a little bit, but just to see if I can get a couple inches upgraded. But I think I'm just going to come back here tomorrow or maybe tomorrow afternoon and just hit the same area. Hopefully the fish are still here. If I could do this, if I could repeat this, it would be amazing. I still got like two more hours to fish. So I'm going to kind of take it easy, try to stay in the shade, change up different lures. Maybe, uh, maybe I may have found something with this fluke here too. So we'll see. Might try a little more. been a pretty good day let me give you a recap rundown what's going on what's happened so i've gotten off the water an hour before time was out because i was getting hot and tired and i didn't want to wear myself out this being a two-day tournament i was in fourth place when i got off the water i'm currently in fifth i'm hope, hoping to hold on to that top 10 but i'm i'm not out of like reach of the first which you know if i have a good day tomorrow and and a couple guys ahead of me just don't do as good i can be at first which five thousand dollars is on the line for first place now i don't really i'm not expecting to get first but I, I really want to finish top 10 now that i'm in the top 10 the top 10 also qualify for a national championship which is going to be in knoxville um i think next year uh, but this is this is crazy like i i think i found something there at the end where i can go to the grass and i think there's some fish in there i think I can, if i spend some time i'll be able to catch some good fish there i didn't want to like fish it more today there was a bunch of other kayakers there was like there was five or six kayakers at least with within sight from where i was fishing and they were all like i don't know why there were there's so many right there um one of them i know is right behind me i saw his name and he's right behind me so he, he's catching some good ones right kind of where i want to go so i came over to scout out another spot I may start at a different spot in the morning just to start here, but who knows? So we're going to go to the check-in here in a minute. I'm just kind of relaxing, going to get my kind of gear together and just like don't want to wear myself out. We got to check in here in a minute where they're going to feed us. I'm going to find out if I'm in, still in the top 10 and uh, they're going to do some stuff here in a little bit. So I'll probably show you some of that. All right, well, it is camp night number two. We're gonna pack up in the morning. I brought some leftover barbecue and I'm sitting in seventh place uh, after it was all said and done for the first day. Not too far away, you know, for making a run for like winning the thing, but my goal is just to get, like finish in the top 10. So I'm probably gonna go back and do what I did today. Try to hit the same places. I think there may be people in there, but hopefully I can uh, catch some more fish. Luke caught fish, Josh caught fish, Chris caught fish. Everybody caught fish. So. That's uh, at least good. Gary uh, left early, but it's been a pretty good time at the campsite. And um, it's gonna be a little muggy tonight, but that's all right. We'll get up and do it again all over tomorrow, six to 2.30 again. We'll see you then. Well, here we are, day number two, getting started. I'm still actually really surprised I'm in seventh place. Like I, I, I shouldn't be there, but now that I am, like I want to hold on to a top ten spot. That's my goal. If I fall out of it, I'm not going to be you know terrible disappointed. But I think I, I mean obviously I have a really good chance to hold on to a top ten spot. So it's starting day two, five fish limit for today. Um, there's a couple guys over there. 
they did good. I remember seeing them and they, so they know that they're on some fish, at least they were yesterday. Um, I'm putting in the same place, gonna do the same thing I did yesterday. Try to learn some of the things I saw where some of the fish were in the grass. I'm gonna try to apply that, see if they're there today. Maybe catch a few more fish, maybe catch a few bigger fish. But we're just gonna get out here. We got, I'm getting a little bit of labor start, but we still got like eight hours of fish. So it's gonna be a long day. already 16 and three quarter in the almost dark what a great way to start out if i could just repeat what i did yesterday and get consistently 16s and 17s i, I would be more than happy and i think that would be enough to keep me in the top 10. all right we're making a move out of the creek I think I'm gonna go to the grass where I saw those fish yesterday. I'm gonna hang up my sun shirt on because it's hot. This right here really helps reflect the sun and keeps you cooler. Got it from TN Fly Co. So it's nice and comfy. Let's go get some fish. Well, today's been a little slower than yesterday. Yeah, I'm really sure he's not long enough, but let me make, oh yeah, 10 inches long. I went to a spot where I saw them, but it's, I saw a couple bass, but I didn't see anything active. Like yesterday, I saw them chasing bait. So, I decided to come back here, fish a little bit, go back to that spot in a little bit when the sun gets a little higher, and that might be the difference. But uh, I do have a backup spot to go to. If, uh, if I, by about 12 o'clock, if I haven't got a limit yet. Oh, just enjoying the day, you know. It's getting hot quick, though, ain't it? It's going to, uh, I know, this next yeah. few hours is going to be brutal. Yesterday afternoon, I thought I was going to die. I, I stopped, I stopped just a little bit early because I was so hot. I was like, I didn't want to be wore out for today. Well, I ended up, and I needed that extra few minutes, so I stayed to finally put a limit in with three minutes to go. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. Yeah. Small limit today already, but. I, I've only got one today. Uh, I got one little one back there, it's 10 inches. So I only got one keeper. All right, hopefully this pays off. This guy out here, they've been fishing out here. Same area all day, he's got a limit. Hopefully I can go back in here and get something. Man, I just had two really good bass come out of the grass, chase my fluke. I was twitching it. They were just right on it, but they just wouldn't grab it. They're in here searching for bait, so they're in here cruising around through the grass, popping out in the openings. Dude, I just lost a big one. I just lost a big one. I should have set the hook on it. Yes! 
We got at least one of the fish that I saw here yesterday. So yesterday's kind of work paid off for sure. 16, 16 and three quarters. Just like yesterday so far. That's two, we need three more. I got you. 15 a quarter. That's a quality catch right there. Especially on a day where I've been struggling. It's slow. I don't know how the other people are doing. I'm gonna upload a couple fish and I gotta make a decision within 30 minutes. I'm gonna fish 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna move to another spot to a place where I think I can, uh, I think I can fill out my limit with at least a couple 12s. But this place I feel like has bigger ones. So I don't know, it's uh. It's 11.30, there's three more hours of the tournament. It's really plenty of time, but I'm starting to panic a little. Well, this isn't the best case scenario. I am moving. When I get to the spot over here, I'm gonna have two hours, and it's a, it's a small, it's a creek, it's a long creek, but I'm going the very head of it. I've caught fish out of it before. All I need is two 12 inches in two hours. I think I can get that done. I just wasn't having any confidence back there. I'd already fished all the area. I didn't really wanna go much further away. And I think there's better quality back there, but I just didn't know if I'm gonna get my limit. So I think I got a better chance of catching at least two 12 inches. I need that just to have a chance to finish in top 10. And uh, I definitely isn't gonna guarantee anything, but I wanna at least fill out, fill out my limit uh, if I can. So we get here, we're gonna have about two hours of fish. Two 12 inches. Come on, the little guy. All I need to be is 12 inches. Oh wow, I'm in a tree. And I'll be just broke around. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I knew there there's little ones in there. We talked about it with the other guys. Oh man, 11 and a half. There we go. Oh, not a little one. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be long enough either. Too small. I'm kind of just covering water trying to get up here. He's only 10 inches. Get up, way up here, um, where I think there may be a couple bigger fish. But I kind of knew coming in, this place had a lot of little ones. <laughs> well, we're getting small, smaller. I was talking to Luke last night, he was telling me about all the small fish in here, and he is a fright. That was a little spot. We're gonna make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, I lost that one. Trying to break this out. It's the reason, only reason I went and bought this net. Up here, there's so many gnats the further I go up this creek. Oh. Oh yeah. Keep those gnats up. 
There we go. Okay. <sighs> I think we're gonna catch them. This creek, like for some reason, this like marks a spot from like here up. There's a few bass. We just have to get them before we spook them. They kind of spread out through here. Uh oh, there's one right there. Oh no! Wow. Holy moly, that's a giant yellow perch. Dude, we gotta lay that on the board real quick. There's a lot of perch up here. That thing's 10 inches long. I got a yellow perch. I only got, let's see here. Look at the clock. Oh, it's, a, it's 136. We got less than an hour. Dude, I gotta get them quick. I gotta get them quick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. I don't know if I can hook good. He's a good fish. He's a good fish. Yes. Yeah, we got one. We got one. And it's a good one. It's better than 12 inches. Dude, I'm pumped up. I gotta get one more. I gotta get one more. Oh wow. This is maybe a. This is a good fish. Dude. I'm gonna be a 15 incher. All right, we gotta get him on the board, get him pictured, get another one. 15 and a half. Better than I could have hoped for. That's gonna make a big difference. We gotta get one more. We gotta get one more. Hold on, we gotta get a swig of Mountain Dew and then we get back to it. Oh, I got this net on. There's another one behind it. There's, oh, there's three of them right there. Looks like I do have the biggest one of the three. Oh my goodness, thank you, Lord. This was crazy. What a crazy ending. That's another good fish. I just wanted to get 12 inches. And these are both solid fish. Kids on the board, get these uploaded. Oh wow. The, there's a reason I go way up from these creeks. There's about a mile there, it was like dead, nothing. But at the headwaters, a lot of times there's just some hungry fish. Like, and it's something that I knew to I'd learned, I'd seen before, kind of thought it'd be there today. I almost went yesterday, but I didn't need to because I was catching good fish. I definitely needed it today, so I'm glad I didn't go yesterday. I definitely needed every one of these. This is another, this is, let's see here. See 15 and a half? He is right on 15 and a half, I feel. Man, I'm so appreciative of this bass right here. My fifth and my limit for the second day. Less than a, less, probably like 30 minutes to go in the contest. Oh. I'm liking this little net here. I can barely see myself. All right, it's a, it's two o'clock. Lines out are at two thirty. I'm pretty sure it's two thirty. But anyways, I caught those. If, if it wasn't if it wasn't two, I caught those fish just before two. I can't get them uploaded because I can't the service. So I got to start making my way. I got at least over. I got like a couple miles to go. Load my kayak back up. I got time to get to the check in. I have no idea where I'm gonna place. I literally have no idea. I I could be top five. I doubt it. Or I could be like, I think down to 20th. You know, I, I think I'm hoping to be in the top 10. I had a solid day. My smallest fish is 15 and a half. That's not bad, but I never got a bit, those big ones. Some of the, several guys got some really big ones. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try to get the fish uploaded. We're going to the check-in. I'll find out what's happening and hopefully do some more video. Hopefully they have some food there because I'm hungry. I put in a long day. It took everything, it took all, everything I had to get five keepers. And thankfully they were all five like solid keepers. They weren't all five 12 inches. So I don't know. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Air the check-in.
I about turned into you today. I started panicking there at the I, end. I, I did. I did it. <laughs> Listen, I had the ammo. So in sixth place, taking home four hundred and seventy-eight dollars with uh, eighty-two and three-quarter on day one, seventy-nine and three-quarter on day two, with a total of one hundred and sixty-two and a half inches. John Dalton. <laughs> Well, just pulled back into the driveway. I'm home. Two days of fishing are over. It happened. I was able to get sixth place out of 107 anglers. And I'm I'm just surprised and I, I'm excited, I'm happy, and very thankful that I was able to do that. Um, the guys at the very top were way ahead. They were a lot further ahead than I was, but I was able to stick it out and get sixth and it was the first day was a pretty good day of fishing second day was a tough day but i was able to get just a solid limit and that's how the kayak tournaments go uh, you just never know if i hadn't caught one of my fish one of those keepers today one of those fish i didn't if i didn't catch one i would have dropped like 20 spots or more or if i'd have caught one 20 incher i could have been like third or something like that so that's how it goes but man i i, I will take it it was it was a grind today really tough so i got six like i said made uh about like i was either four or five hundred dollars so that's awesome got paid out got to go up front i didn't really talk very long i just because i didn't really know i can't i'm not gonna talk about bass fishing you know to all those guys those most of those guys know way more than me about bass fishing but it, it just comes down to executing and any one of the like any one of those guys could have fished if they were in the right spot or just sometimes one fish comes off or, or doesn't makes a difference so I, I will take it and last year um so last year i got ninth so i didn't really think i was gonna get 10th this year i was like i got really lucky last year i thought and got ninth and i feel like i've learned a lot i kind of i caught more better fish and i was able to move up and got six um still fishing really simple and not not like you know i don't i feel i feel like i really don't know what i'm doing as far as like targeting big bass spitting but I just go out there and try to catch fish and it worked out. Consistent, consistent days, both days. Didn't have anything crazy both days. Uh, good limits of fish. No, I didn't catch anything bigger than a 17 and a half. Um, but my smallest limit was like, a, my smallest fish was a 15. So I didn't catch anything big, but I didn't catch the small ones. So it was just a great limit both days. I qualified last year for the national event and I didn't know anything about it. Didn't know what it was. They didn't really talk about it. And I didn't, I was new to kayaking and I just like, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to, I didn't want to fish it. And I could have fished national uh, event. Well, I qualified for it this year again. So I got top 10 qualified for the national event and it's in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm definitely going to it. I can't wait to do that. It's going to be so fun. Cause it's, they put on a, a big show. There's a, they do a lot. It's gonna be a couple days of fishing. I think two days, hopefully not more than two, but it's gonna be right here in Knoxville, just an hour and a half away. Um, I don't know what lake, and I'm gonna get to meet, you know, a lot of people from around the state and stuff, or around the country and stuff. So, man, I, I'm just so thankful. Thanks to all the guys I hung out with today. We had a fun time hanging out. I'm still itching from all the mosquito bites. I got a bunch of nasty, sweaty stuff to wash because it was sweating all night last night some of the guys i with with today didn't uh didn't have great days but it just that's how it goes and um we all we all understand that some days are good some days aren't and just one or two fish sometimes makes a trip a good trip or a bad trip so uh i wouldn't have said today was a great day of fishing if i was out fishing today i'll be like nah it wasn't a good day it was tough it was hot caught you know maybe 10 fish total probably not even that but in a tournament everyone's important and i i am really enjoying these tournaments the more i do especially when especially today whenever i get you know i get to get paid um that's always fun and get you know i, I finish in the top 10 but even in the days that are tough and you struggle they're still fun to do these these tournaments so if you've been following my channel for a while like i'm not really a bass fisherman like this isn't something that i had a background in or 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 like was really good at or i didn't even like going out i wouldn't even go out and fish in the lake for fun i just didn't enjoy it only reason i got into this kind of stuff is because of the tournaments the tournaments kind of pushed me to do it and now i'll go out every once in a while to fish for fun but i just i still something i don't enjoy to do that much just for fun but it's totally different in the tournament and it really makes me like fish and learn and really try to understand that part of fishing and i've i feel i'm going to learn a lot and evolve and change and 
I've been using the simple yumdinger like setup and I caught, that's what I caught all my fish with it. I've used it several different ways and it gets fish, uh, may evolve to other stuff in the future. I don't know, but I don't know. This is probably a long video. A lot happened. I'm, I'm really excited about the day. I'm tired, wore out, got to, you know, clean out my truck and all my gear and everything. And it takes a lot of mental stress and a lot of mental things going into these fishing trips. And I think that's why I like them also physical. But sometimes I I tried to I tried to stay relaxed all day, even though I was getting a little anxious towards the end. And um, yeah, Lord blessed, and I got those two like within 30 minutes of time expiring, and uh, that was a big difference in this tournament. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. I got uh we got more tournaments coming up, and now this uh, national one's in March of 2023. So that's in uh like you know five or six months. That'll be awesome. So there, but there's other ones coming up in between them. So I, I'm, I'm glad I'm getting this. I may try to get better equipment, maybe a different kayak. I don't know, but just kind of keep getting better at this as long as I can. Thanks for watching.